Hey guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pack. In today's video, what we're going to be doing is setting up OpenDNS on my home router. And this is to have more security, more control over your DNS and what goes out and in into your, uh, into your network. So if you're ready for the video, let's get into it. Thanks guys. So this is my desktop. So there's a few things that we're gonna do prior to setting up OpenDNS. And I wanna verify what my DNS servers are right now. And I wanna walk you through that and getting everything to verify before and after we implement OpenDNS. So if we open up a command prompt, and this is my little command prompt, let's uh, see if we can make this a little bigger. So we can follow along. All right, looks a little bet bet a little bit better. So if we do an IP config, and we see the first thing is actually let's do an IP config all. I have a lot of stuff going on here, but let's go all the way up. Let's pay attention to this adapter. Where is this adapter? Here, this Ethernet adapter right here. All right, so. My IP address is 192.168.50.250. I have a 24-bit subnet. My gateway for my router is 192.168.50.1. And my DNS servers right at this moment are Google's DNS. All right. And the way we can see that uh, another way, if you're running on a Windows machine, you can do NS lookup. Okay. NS lookup will show you what server that this computer is using for DNS and obviously it is google.com all right so we can exit out of here and do a CLS because I don't need all that so that's the current DNS server that we're using all right and there's another few things that we're going to do prior to setting up the DNS all right so I want to open up um, so I have my I have my open DNS um, dashboard this is my router and this is how you this is how we're gonna test and you can just we can go to Google and just put open DNS test and it's pretty much the first link all right and if we come down here and we can test and see if we're using the DNS resolver for open DNS we can right click open up a new tab and want 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 because we're using Google obviously so I want to give a, a before and after type deal so you can see what I'm doing and get the get everything. So to test the security of your configuration, we can go to the internetbadguys.com and obviously it's allowed, right? Because th there's nothing blocking it. Open DNS, you know, this is to make sure everything is is good. And another one if you are filtering anything else, we can go here and the domain is, you know, obviously a demonstration. So this is, you know, the real adult sites aren't being blocked. This is not being blocked. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to change our DNS servers to the correct DNS servers. So I want to add my network. That's fine. You can see my email address. All right. So I want to add this network. Friendly name, I'm going to put in infosec at home. Okay, hit done. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, so this is now how we can, you know, block some sites and um, customize some security and all that good stuff. But First thing we have to do is change our DNS servers to utilize this. So if we go to home and let's go to stats, there is a place oh, right here. They always change it. So these servers, I want to copy this and I'll open up notepad on this side. And so these are the two DNS servers that we're going to be adding in our router in my router. All right. And I have an Asus router. So this is what we're going to be doing. I want to put it over here. I want to put it on another screen just so it's over there. And I want to log into my router. I'm already logged in. I probably want to have to re-log in because, okay, cool. So on my WAN settings, 
on my WAN. These are the two DNS servers that we're using. So I'm gonna clear this out, clear this out, copy the 208 IP, okay? Put it as my primary, and then put the other one as my secondary, okay? So now we can hit apply. We'll let that apply, and then we'll, we'll do some testing, make sure DNS is working correctly and resolving the correct IP. All right, so let's go to my account. I just wanna check some, some things really quick on here. All right, so let's manage this network. We have nothing blocking right now. We're not gonna block anything yet. I, wanna let, I just wanna make sure we're using the correct DNS servers. So first things first, I wanna do an IP config flush DNS. That's gonna flush out the cache. So if I do IP config display DNS, that'll show everything in DNS. There's nothing there because there's nothing resolving at the very moment. So now if we do NS lookup, it's still, well, I guess it's still looking at Google's. Let me make sure, it probably takes a few minutes to propagate. It's, let me make sure it's all good. Oh, I know why. Give me one second. I think my local IP is statically assigned. Um, let's just check that really quick. Yeah. So let's change this and change this guy to these bad boys. Copy, paste. All right, so this is my IP address. I have it manually set. Now that should change, perfecto. Now we should be golden, all right? So let's just make sure, let's go back to the command prompt. Do a little, f see now we have a whole bunch of DNS because of uh, different queries that are going out. So let's flush DNS, flush it again. NS lookup, bada bing. Now we're, now we are resolving to Google Doc, I mean, open DNS, see that? So now we can go back here and refresh. Let me see if I can just refresh this. There we go. Your internet is safer, faster, and smarter because you're using open DNS. It is that simple. And let's go here, refresh, boom. You blocked, you blocked. The bad guys can't get you. And let's see if uh, this site, this site should be good because we haven't made any changes. So now, for an example, I'm gonna put in, let me put in um, Yahoo, <clears throat> yahoo.com. <clears throat> All right, so we're gonna we're gonna block this. Let's ping this really quick. Uh, let's ping. Okay, so that's pinging. We're able to get to it. So now let's go back to the Open DNS. Let's customize this, and let's see if we can put a website. Oh, here we go. I guess this is none. So let's add a domain to yahoo.com. Add domain. So block Yahoo. All right, so uh, I'd rather, block. okay, confirm. Let's block Yahoo. Perfect, so it's gonna take three minutes sometimes to propagate and to do all that stuff, but sometimes let's just do a little bit of um, flush DNS, flush DNS, flush DNS. And let's try to um, make sure we can let's see if we ping it. We can still ping it, but let's see if we can get to it. Um, it probably take three minutes. So let's uh, we'll give that some time. We'll give that a minute. So and we can we can uh, check out some other stuff in here. We can go to security. We can see if there's. Um, any other settings that you would like to change. There's phishing protection, there's suspicious responses. Obviously you can see it here. You can block internal IPs to so say, for example, you want to, I don't know, someone in your house, I don't know, you figure that out. Um, I don't want to you know, put 
get someone in trouble. And then you can upload like, let's upload an, a logo. I'll upload my own logo. Go to pictures. I think I have an infosec pat logo somewhere. There we go. Um, there is a problem. With, check your file. Oh yeah, because I didn't hit upload. There we go. Upload. Uh, I guess there's a the problem, but uh, let's see if we can choose another another picture. I don't know. I'm, I I just want to show you how we can change that. See this guy. Can we use this? Upload. What's going on here? All right, let's do apply. Preview. And here you go. You have this little crazy guy. All right. So we can leave that. We can put a block message. Um, the site blocked is not allowed on the network. Thank you. Info sec pat. Okay. And then let's do the same thing down here. And then, you know, we can do the same thing with the fishing. Well, let's do that for now. All right. So, cool deal. Let's see what else. Um, stats and logs. You can enable stats and logs. You can purge uh, DNS data. Let's go to events. And so this will pretty much dynamically update your IP address if you have a, a dynamic IP address from your, from your um, ISP, all right? And my account and obviously my account. So let's see if we can check this out now. Let's go back home, refresh, settings, okay. All right, so Yahoo is still blocked. So let's see if we can um, let's see if we can test it to see if we um, if the site is blocked now. Um, let's flush DNS and let's go to just a totally different website. All right, let's go to Yahoo. Let's go to Google. Make sure we can get out. Okay, perfect. Now let's go to Yahoo. And we're still able to get there. It's probably going to take some time, but you just have to be patient with the, with the replication and all that stuff. But that's how you set up, you know, block sites. Obviously I'm going to delete this. I don't want to, um, I, I don't want to, uh, block any sites at this very moment, at least. And let's make sure we're still using DNS. Okay, let's make sure we fancy. Uh, okay, so that's how you set up Open DNS. If you have any questions or concerns or problems, hit me up in the comments, my Instagram. I'm more than happy to help you out. And uh, hopefully it's been informative for you guys. And please like, subscribe, share with your friends and family. And um, until next time, have a good one. Thank you.